this large crowd. Houseman Field handles about 10,000 folks when full. And we are filled up in the center sections. A little uh, space at both ends. But anyway, eight, 9,000 folks on hand to watch what should be a great high school football game. Catholic Central comes in 6-1 and one on their season. They are 5-0 and oh in the City League. West Catholic, 7 here. 5-0 and oh in the City League as well. You look down over the Cougars, Kyle Concannon, who will boot it away, and he has plenty of leg. We saw him kick some 50-plus yard field goals in practice. And he kicks it high and deep, fielded in the end zone. In the end zone, and in high school football, you can't run it out from the end zone. And there you see the 2,500-plus balloons taking off here as a part of that celebration of the 25th anniversary of Grand Rapids West Catholic. This is going to be it. West Catholic, the Falcons, will go on the offense first. Start at first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The quarterback is number 18, John Kenyon, 50-plus percent passer. But the real strength for West Catholic, tackle to tackle with five or six good running backs. They'll start with Ostapovich and Kevin Krott behind Kenyon in the pro set. Little hold up here as the officials want to change footballs. And just a little bit of rain here before the football game and on this artificial turf shouldn't be any problem. Bill. No problem at all. No, this is a great, great facility and unless it's actually a downpour, the footing should be uh, real good this whole game. Here we go. Kenyon has a man in motion. And it'll be Crot first back maybe two it'll be second down and long that's what we expect from both football teams all evening long right up the middle tackle to tackle power football very typical opening play as these two teams uh, live and die by way of the running game and they just kind of get things settled down here a little bit to get started with a little T this time behind John Kenyon and he'll run some counter motion right side from there at all. Loss of a couple yards back to the 20. Bottom of the pile for Catholic Central. Matt Maraki. Not a real smooth match there between the quarterback and the backs as they were uh, developing a play uh, coming right at us to the offensive uh, right side, Mike, and uh, something went amiss there. Went for no gain. Third down. Long nine facing Catholic Central. Might get our first look at John Kenyon's arm. Nope, they'll hand it off. John Tyron finds the going tough off right side. Initial hit by Matt Naraki again for Catholic Central. It'll be fourth down, and West Catholic will have to boot it away. Just underway from Houseman Field, Grand Rapids. Catholic Central and West Catholic. The winner of the City League title this year and perhaps a shot at the state playoffs in Class B. Steve Cavazos back at his own 10 to punt it away. It's off the kick. And Catholic Central forced to just let this one bounce. West Catholic will down it back at the 42 of CC. And we'll get our first look at the Cougar offense. Well, a good rush that time uh, on the part of Catholic Central as the punter uh, under a little duress back there had to get it off in a hurry. But he got it off cleanly. And uh, as the punt dropped to this artificial turf, he got a good bounce on it beside. 46 yards on that punt, about 17 of it on the bounce. First and 10, Catholic Central. Jim Pazano is your quarterback, number 24. First back is Jay Rhodes out across the 45, 46 yard line with it. Eight and three, it'll be second down and seven. Stopped by Steve Andre, Fort West Catholic. Big 6'3", 220 pound tackle. West Catholic Falcons in those very bright old green uniforms. Asano, the belly option left. This time it's Perry Foster. And he's out near midfield. It'll be third down and about three. Two good running backs for Catholic Central. Perry Foster and Jay Rhodes both see the football 10, maybe 15 times a ball game. And both going to pick up four, five, six yards of the crack. Third down three. Catholic Central trying to pick up the initial first down of this ball game. And a little 
hold up as one of the Falcons. Matt Karras uh, limping off kind the of field. a limp uh, coming on, right? Now we're set. by Dan Jarmusco, Jeff Augustin there as well. And it'll be fourth down about five, and now Catholic Central forced to punt, and they're gonna quick punt. Send the team out there, and they're gonna try and get it away before West Catholic can set up. And flags fly. The officials didn't like something. I'm not sure why they stopped the play. That's a very legal uh, technique to use. Well, the officials must not have been set yet. No flag. It'll still be fourth down and four. And I guess the officials simply must not have set the football. Chris Alder stands in punt formation at his own 35. Averages about 32 yards a kick. This one kind of rolling end over end. Fair catch back at about the 23. And West Catholic will start right there, first and 10. Well, both teams really starting quite conservatively, Mark, with that uh, offense that they like to establish the running game, and both of them uh, being conservative and trying to probe a little bit and see if they can uh, begin to dominate the other side of that line of scrimmage a little bit with their basic game plan. Been a big day of football here at Houseman. They played a freshman game at about uh, 9 this morning, a junior varsity game in front of this one. Third part of a triple header. John Kenyon now. Leads West Catholic on their second possession. They'll try left side, Kevin Crott. And he is hit at the line of scrimmage. Lost a yard. Say the officials, it'll be second down about 11. 